So ironically, the theme at West Marion is diving into learning. And so we're going to take a dive with West Marion's data. And um, again, this school was able to show increases in uh, achievement gap and growth. Uh, everything has increased here. Uh, they had significant increases in reading, math, and writing as well. And, um, you know, I, I just wanted, the superintendent in her report talked about the guaranteed Bible curriculum. And that sounds like a lot of fancy words. But when we talk about guaranteed, it's what are we guaranteeing that every child in that particular grade level is going to receive? And, and we have done a significant amount of work, especially in math, reading, and in this last year, writing. And oh my gosh, our writing scores have just, are unbelievable for, for um, our, our district. And so, I, you, when you look at all four of those, if you lay them out side by side, you're gonna see that where we put the focus in math, reading, writing, with that guaranteed Bible curriculum, you're gonna see significant increases across the board. And, and I think that goes to show that professional learning community that's going on, not just physically face-to-face, -face, but teachers are constantly emailing back and forth. Um, they're, they're constantly, they're willing to get together after school or whenever to, to benefit their kids. And so I think, I think that's something to celebrate. Again, that's something that, you know, we've made history with all four of our elementaries being recognized. And um, it's, to me, it's we're not gonna make history, but we're gonna form a new tradition. A new tradition. Uh, and, and I'm really excited. I think our Guaranteed Bible curriculum is working. I think our teacher interventions are working. Our professional learning communities are working. Our live scoring is working. And uh, we're going to continue those things. So we're going to move on to our secondary schools. Yes, sir. I want to share two things real quick to go over. Those five years ago, when my wife and I moved back to this community, and we were looking for a house, one of the things that was the most important to us was making sure we lived in the district, and the part of the district that would go to a school that we felt that would properly educate our children. We knew we were going to send our kids to public school and we wanted to live in a part of this district that would send our child and our children to uh, a great school. And I'm happy to say that now that's not a question. You can move into this community and you can live in any portion of Marion County and you will send your child to an excellent elementary school. And that is something that everyone in this room and everyone who, who sees this ought to be very, very proud of. Um, the other thing I want to share, I want to, I want to brag on Mr. Peterson for a minute. And he stepped into a, a tough situation last year, and, and his mentality was, I'm just going to get out of the way and let these folks, he, he says his mentality was, I'm just going to get out of the way and let these folks teach. But I visited the school last year in the spring, came in for a, for a faculty meeting, and when I walked into the school, it was dismissal time and there were teachers who were assigned to bus duty. And I saw Mr. Peterson walk over to those teachers and say, you guys go ahead and go on into the library and get started with your professional learning communities. I'll, I'll take the bus duty so you guys can get started. And I thought that showed just a, a certain type of servant leadership that all of our principals exhibit. But <coughs> that, that, that's important for someone else who's willing to pick up the rope and pull on with everyone else. And that is why Robbie, that I think that you have been so um, successful in your tenure there and will continue to be successful out of West Marine. So I'm, I, I am so proud of the work that everyone's doing in this district, and I'm, I just feel like I need to share that with you guys. All right, so our next school that uh, we are going to recognize is St. Charles Middle School. St. Charles Middle School is, they, they kept each year getting just a little bit closer, a tenth of a point, a tenth of a point, a tenth of a point, but that's okay because we got there. And um, I know Miss Mann is very proud 
uh, and, and a smile on her face. And yesterday when we were there for the learning walk, still smiling. <laughs> and I know that she's going to be smiling all year. So if you would meet Miss Slosher in the back of the room to accept your bat. St. Charles is a school of distinction, the highest honor that can be bestowed upon a school with the state accountability results. They are a distinguished, progressing school, meaning they met their AMO. Well, I just want to say congratulations to Ms. Mann. Uh, you're exactly right. You can see that they have been on the chart for several years, and it's always been a little bit closer and a little bit closer, and last year they missed it, and it was so close. And they really stepped up their game, and not only were they a distinguished school, but also a school of distinction. And uh, uh, you're right; she is smiling big, and, and she and she should be. It's it again that doesn't accidentally happen. And uh, I appreciate her leadership. And uh, St. Charles has traditionally been one of you know that's that's been a great school. So you know sometimes uh, that's a little bit harder to move. And, and a school that maybe is not traditionally been that way. So I just want to say congratulations and give you an opportunity to talk. Well, obviously our faculty and staff, we are very excited. Um, but immediately following fall break, we were, okay, how are we going to stay here? Because that's where we want to stay. Uh, it's been three long years for us to get here, a tenth of a point at a time. And uh, we are very proud. Um, again, as the other principal said, it's the work of the teachers, the community support, the parents, everyone in the building, the bus drivers, everyone. It takes everyone to be successful. If you'll stay right here, I want to ask Mr. Peterson to come up, and I'm going to ask uh, someone to hold the bat for me. I've got something else I'd like to present to them. Uh, one of the things that we uh, talked a lot about last year is, you know, that school of distinction that is a uh, that's just that little, one more little notch above, just get, getting a little bit higher. And tomorrow when we go to talk to our kids, one of the things I talk to them about is the importance of education. And how with an education, um, you're going to have the whole world in your hands. Actually, this is what I tell the kids to do. I ask them to hold their hands up. And there's nothing like asking them little kids to hold their hands up because they do anything you ask them to. And I say, I want you to hold your hands up. And they all hold their hands up. And I said, now what I want you to imagine is just the world sitting in your hands. And that's what you have when you get an education. So one of the other things that I present to the two schools of distinction is actually what I'm talking about, which is, it's actually a crystal globe. And it actually has the children's hands Aww. and the gloves. And we get one for Miss Peterson. And so tomorrow uh, we will actually present that to uh, St. Charles and uh, <laughs> West Marion. And more importantly, we want children to remember that. We want them to, when they see the world, that's the picture I want them to imagine, is that they can actually have the world in their hands. And just to remind the teachers how important our job is, and staff how important our job is, is that we're actually giving kids an opportunity to put the world in their hands, and nowadays to even compete globally around the world with people all over. And Mary County's doing that. We are getting the home run, and, and our, our, our ball's not going over the fence, but it's going around the world. And, and tonight with these banners and bats and these trophies, uh, I, think, I think everybody in here would agree. So I just thought I would present those to you all as well tonight. So just be careful because <laughs> the world can fall out <laughs> obviously to be able to uh, get that honor. They increased in achievement gap and growth. Uh, they're above state average in reading, math, writing, and language mechanics. And uh, they, they've shown a lot of progress. So, so we're really proud of them. Any questions? 
about St. Charles. Our next school that we want to recognize is Marion County High School. And um, we're going to have Mr. Abel. You were the principal. You were the principal. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to ask you to come back and take a picture by the banner. Marion County High School is a proficient school, so I know Mr. Abel is, is proud of that. And um, that to be proficient, that puts them in the 70th percentile under those blocked percentiles from two years ago. And I'll let this I, I just want to say congratulations to the high school. I know, I know last year we were a, a little bit higher. But uh, we still met. We still made the grade. We still did the home run. Uh, we made a lot of progress last year with our college and career readiness again. And we obviously that's very important to our community. We have a great graduation rate. Uh, lots of things going on at Marion County High School that is beyond just what the accountability scores talk about. Just like we talked about today with what is important of a graduate. We've got teachers over there that really care about kids. We have staff that care about kids. And I think we really understand that when they graduate this year, that's the last time a child's going to have an opportunity for an education. So I just want to say congratulations and know that we're working really hard to support the staff and to support the kids at Marion County High School. So, Mr. Abel? Uh, our model last year was teamwork makes the dream work. And I think it's really what it's all about. Start with our curriculum coaches, like we mentioned. The teachers and the people we have in place, the support we get from the community, and that's what it's all about. We've got great kids in this community, are in our school system. It's just about giving them activities that they can buy into and they understand why we're asking them to do the things that we want them to do. And 99% of them are willing to do that. I think that's what makes up a world of difference. So, thank you. Thank you. data dive for Marion County High School. Uh, Ms. Swasher's already mentioned the college and career readiness. That is an area that stands out as a strength because it's above the state average along with the growth. And the growth for the high school is a little bit different. It comes from their plan test that they take as a 10th grader to the ACT test that they take as that 11th grade year. So the growth was higher than the uh, state average for that. So those, those are the areas that stand out uh, as strengths for Marion County High School. Any questions on that school? So um, our last school that we want to talk about, even though we don't get to, um, to take a picture by a banner, Lebanon Middle School has made progress and are moving forward. If we go ahead and look at their data, uh, their strengths are that uh, they did it, they did make growth in achievement and the gap. They are above the state average in two of those three categories and are moving forward. And I expect to be ready to take a picture by a banner next year because they are moving forward. Um, if, if I just categorize or summarize all of the schools together, because I know, Mr. Evans, you didn't ask me, and I'm surprised. Because you, you always ask, well, what are you looking at doing next? And so it's really nice to say that I could, I could say the same thing for almost every single school except for the high school. If we look at KA, our focus will continue to be on literacy because that's the area that we need to continue to work on and also on novice reduction, continuing to make sure that we're reducing the novice, especially in our subgroup populations. And that's what we're doing in our professional learning communities. That's what we're trying to learn about. We're learning more about research-based strategies. And we'll continue to put those in place this year. At the high school, we have to continue to work on that mastery of the standards for those end of course assessments and getting more success in, in those areas. So I didn't want you to, to think that I was just going to talk about the positives because like I said, uh, we take about five minutes to celebrate and we automatically start looking at what are the things that we need to, to continue to work on. So just to kind of let you know, to, to finish this, uh, what, are, what are we gonna, what's our process at this point? 
Once a school gets their test scores, they immediately start working on their school improvement plan. And the state gives them about 90 days to get a school improvement plan finalized. However, if we waited 90 days, half the school year is over. Um, with our map assessments and looking at our data throughout the year, we already know when the school year starts what we're going to be working on. That's why October 10th, <coughs> our focus was literacy. We already knew that that's where, where we needed to continue to work. So um, we will be working with the schools. The schools will be working with their staff and uh, their site-based councils to develop their school improvement plan. The principals will come back and report what they <coughs> see as their next steps for each of their schools. And then in uh, probably November, December, the Board of Ed will take a look at those plans and approve those so that we submit those to the Kentucky Department of Education. I'm honored to have been able to present this uh, achievement tonight. I, I'm always glad to be kind of the, the, the deliverer of this information. I'm so proud of our school district. And at this point, Ms. Sasha, any last words? As the board, we do have cake uh, or cupcakes for a little celebration. The chairman of the board uh, will recognize a break, and I'm not sure if you all wanted to say anything. We've said a lot. Well, I, I think you said something very important early on in, in, in the introduction that, uh, that this hasn't always been easy. We've gone through some culture changes in the school system itself. And uh, I want to congratulate you and your entire leadership team for this result that we're having. Uh, it's about all intentional planning. This didn't happen by accident. So, at this time here, I think we'd like to take about a 10-minute break to enjoy some you know, refreshments and cupcakes, I believe. So don't everybody jump up all at one time, but in line. <laughs>